So I was the only representative from Arizona and running the state police, I think uh, that was important. I uh, work very closely with our border sheriffs uh, in Arizona and I think we were as well represented as anyone. And what was interesting to me about the group where there were sheriffs and people from all over the country. I, I think it's just important to realize that it is a crisis for Arizona. Uh, it's an ongoing crisis. We've been dealing with it for decades. The, uh, it's an unstable situation, and I guess that's how we would define it. It's an unstable situation that impacts public safety. I think that um, there's misconception about what the wall is there. We're not to seal the border. It's not keeping people out. There's six international ports of entry along the uh, Arizona border to uh, Mexico, and it's to, um, to bring people to the international ports of entry. So undocumented people become documented, and it's to uh, thwart the cartels and their ability to be uninterrupted bringing narcotics that uh, kill our people. Um, it's not about elitism, it's not about separatism, it's not about racism, it's, uh, it's about safety for America. Uh, Arizona happens to be one of the front doors for narcotics coming into, uh, into America, along with human smuggling. Um, every, every state in the nation is affected by drugs that come through Arizona. I would tell you that uh, I think it'll look a lot like it does now. It's uh, literally steel slats, uh, beams uh, in a vertical fashion, something that you can see through uh, so you can see what's on the other side. Uh, because of the uh, environment in southern Arizona, the topography, uh, the arroyos, the animal population, something that animals can get through and the water can flow through, uh, I think all those things are important. I don't believe that uh, the big beautiful wall will actually be a big beautiful concrete wall. I think as they build out new structure, it will be steel and concrete combined.